Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1965 penny, the one penny piece from 1965. Firstly the design and then the facts and figures. Let's begin. So here is the reverse design and it was done by Leonard Charles Wyon. We see Lady Britannia here with the shield to her side, bearing the Union flag and holding the trident up proud towards the sky. She's wearing draped clothing and has a helmet. And to the left and behind her is a lighthouse in the distance over the sea as Britannia rules the waves. Below her as well is the date of the coin in 1965 when it was made, and to the left and right are the words one and penny in capitals, giving us the denomination and value of the coin when it was used in change. Around the rim of the coin you can see little teeth, milling or beads, and these are all there to prevent the coin from being clipped, and metal content being stolen from the design, stolen from the coin, which was illegal and they're more important on this coin as it has no milling on the edge, it has a plain rim around the edge. So there's the reverse design, and now we'll move on to the obverse design, where we can see a portrait of the Queen. Queen Elizabeth II. This is the first portrait and it was done by Mary Gillick and sees the Queen facing to the right, uncrowned but wearing a laureate and ribbon in her hair. Around her is the legend of the Queen in Latin and reads Elizabeth II de Gratia Regina FD and then a little plus symbol there to bulk out the legend. This reads in English Elizabeth II by the grace of God, Queen, Defender of the Faith. Her titles as Monarch and Queen. Around this is then a little teeth milling or beads once again there on both sides of the reverse and obverse to prevent the coin from being clipped or shaved as I've said. So overall, a lovely design on both sides of the coin with the reverse design being mainly unchanged since 1860. So now then, that's the design. We'll move on to the facts and figures of the 1965 penny. This coin was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. So a later coin to be made there. The coin is composed of an alloy of bronze, so it's 97% copper, 2.5% zinc, and 0.5% tin, all alloyed together to make the coin's composition, giving it its unique properties and color. The weight of the coin is 9.6 grams, so a fairly large and heavy coin given its small denomination of only 1 pence, and a diameter of 30.8 millimeters. Once again, a big diameter, one of the largest coins you could find, although having still a fairly small denomination. The mintage is very, very big, 121,310,400, an extremely, extremely common coin, and a very, very easy date to find if you're looking for it. The penny coin is of course worth 1 pence, this is then 1 twelfth of a shilling, and one 240th of a pound sterling under the old pre-decimal money system. And back in 1965 when the coin was made, one penny was equal to 10 pence today. So a 10 pence piece today and a penny coin back then had the equal buying power and equal value within change and circulation within their respective time periods. And then the coin was demonetized on 31st of August 1971, a few months after decimalization, now that they were phased out for the new new pence coins. So then, what is the value of this coin to a collector today? In poor condition it will sell for around 40 pence, Fine condition, one pound. Extremely fine, three pounds. And six pounds in uncirculated grade. So a very, very cheap and affordable coin in all grades, even the highest grades. Still very low price, usually incredibly high mintage. So comment down below if you have a 1965 penny in your collection. I'd assume you do if you collect old pennies, as the later Queen Elizabeth II ones are very, very common. If you've learned something new and enjoyed, please do subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much for watching to the very end. That is appreciated very much. We'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on the channel. Bye.